Good afternoon. I, I've been sitting here for a while, uh, wasting time, trying to trying to decide how to word something. And I guess the best thing to do is just go ahead and mention the brief uh, uh, about uh, drafts going back to 2022 uh, during the previous campaign, right near the beginning. Uh, there were uh, messages pertaining to uh, President Biden and uh, one item that uh, I don't remember whether I mentioned or where I, whether I was caused to forget or not was that on uh, April 13th of uh, 2022, the man uh, sounding like and portraying himself as being President Biden alleged that he was con thinking of the U.S. as having fallen to the uh, Vatican's and psychical uh, directives. Uh, it doesn't sound like we, you know, the president's supposed to be uh, the protector of our people and constitution, but uh, sometimes there's conflict of interest, and one of the conflicts pertains to the Vatican. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, you know, there's been years since, and hopefully uh, there isn't any real serious subterfuge in progress. But, uh, you know, Vatican interests aren't, aren't the same as United States interests. We know there's a lot of good Catholic citizens, etc. But uh, there are differences, and uh, other comments I'd heard include people talking about ancient rivalries pertaining to the uh, situation in Eastern Europe, etc. So, uh, besides that, another word that I had detailed about before is that, uh, I forget what year it was, but uh, I don't know when it was, about 10, 20 years ago, when the Vatican appointed uh, Thomas More to be their uh, saint of politicians, that one detail is if you research uh, uh, the uh, the British man uh, Thomas More, uh, that he had advocated the burning of opposition, and on uh, April 8th of uh, 22, a man portraying himself as Biden. I can't be sure if he actually was though, but it is true that Biden is a Catholic, and, and I, I believe he has visited the Vatican. Uh, as I speak, the operation uh, that I've uh, been complaining about is associated with the same. In other words, they don't really care what your opinions are, and up until then, they might want to burn me. You know, I'm, I'm not being melodramatic about that. I've heard them say threats about it before. I've heard them say, an old nun one time said I looked like somebody that they did it to in 1944. So, well, that was way back in 96, though, so maybe, maybe there's a difference now. But actually, I'll tell you the truth, that I was on a corner of, uh, standing on the corner of Worcester Street and uh, Bee Ridge one day, talking to a woman of the church by the name of Josephine, uh, who's from, uh, who's from uh, Slovakia. Well, uh, I forget what I was saying, but she had been considered. She helped me with the cash before. But as I spoke to her, uh, one of her comments was, that all may be true, but we have to burn it. And uh, that particular corner ended up becoming uh, the headquarters of the National Cremation and Bur uh, Burial Society. It used to be Robert's funeral. So anyway, that's another cause for concern that I've mentioned previously and read reports for years, you know. I, I pivot back to that. It might be a pivotal indication against our people. Uh, that location is right across from Incarnation Catholic Church. So anyway, uh, uh, as I was saying, uh, the concern is for our nation constitution being attacked rather than becoming a tool of, of uh, uh, Vatican interests. So uh, another brief that I noticed uh, about uh, a similar subject matter is from uh, uh, 2013, and uh, it pertains to Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan also from the Catholic Church, that uh, uh, I guess it was on... Uh, July 25th of 2013. Well, what happened on that particular day, a man who portrayed himself as official, I know it doesn't sound likely, but really, two years, I don't remember how it all started, but there ends up being a lot of confusion, and some of them are alleged being official, and a man was saying, uh, what's happening in Las Vegas, a former commander-in-chief is swarming in a nest of bats. Swarming in a nest of bats. I guess he's talking about the man uh, who, who he's speaking of is Ronald Reagan. That his voice was getting mixed in uh, uh, sounds uh, of, a, uh, of a lot of bats in the Las Vegas area. So anyway, you know, that was kind of worrisome. Uh, and there's another detail I'm going to add to that, but uh, I'm going to uh, conclude this one and, and make another message for the next, all right? Really, uh, I can't be sure of anything. 
uh, you know, I, I was in Washington. I was in Washington D.C. back in uh, uh, August of uh, 2021. Stayed in the Washington Plaza Hotel. You know, uh, it looked to me like you know, it, that uh, that there was a, probably wasn't as much traffic and everything as there usually is because of COVID. And they say that the, that it's kind of it's kind of uh, slow in the capital building anyway. And uh, one detail I did encounter was a uh, 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 controversy suddenly started from my past when I walked into a uh, Wawa store near the hotel uh, just off of uh, Hudson Circle. Uh, or uh, Hudson Circle? No, uh, Thomas Circle. Well, anyway, I walked into the store, and as soon as I walked in, all of a sudden the music system was on loud, and a young woman sang the words uh, S-U-C-K twice to begin the, the Warrior song by uh, Patti Smythe. You know, it's, a, it's kind of an upbeat song, interesting beat, but uh, she star started it as an accusation from uh, the 1981 Orlando Stain Malpractice. So anyway, the store was full of her singing that song. Sounded really authentic, uh, but she wasn't Patty Smythe herself. She's a younger woman who had been convinced by the rumor. So anyway, uh, there was a young black woman, pretty lady, uh, working the cashier who was completely quiet. So as I shopped, I went ahead and explained uh, what the truth was instead. So uh, uh, as I uh, prepared to leave, the uh, the uh, warrior song ended. I really am a peaceful man. Well, I am as a warrior. I worry a lot instead. So anyway, as I was walking out of the store, suddenly a different song started from a different year. And uh, it was a very amateur sounding gay started singing Eye of the Tiger. You know, so I really got irritated. I guess the door slammed a little bit as I walked out. But what they're again talking about is back then, well, I didn't, in 81, 82, when I didn't even have a clue of anything, that some of them had influence in the music industry and spread the smear around. And gosh, you know, I didn't start learning anything about it until many years after. About music indications, I didn't start learning it until uh, about uh, 25, 25 to 30 years after. Anyway, like I say, there's another message that I'm, that I'm going to start after this. I hope everyone's having a good day.